Hello and welcome. This is Cats Review Movies. Uh, clearly, I am your host, Cat Paul Gossler, and today we're doing Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, now, we use three and only three unique criteria to judge all the movies. Criterion one Did this movie have cats in it? What is that? Nothing? Never mind. Criterion two Did this movie portray our kind with fairness and dignity? And Criterion three Was this movie? Good. Uh, roll the graphics. Okay, Criterion 1. Cats? Yeah, cats. There's tons of cats in this movie, bro. Turns out, Freddie Mercury loved us, and he had a bunch of cat roommates. Did you know that? I didn't know that. But, now that I have learned it, we here at CRM do believe that his love of cats was a defining factor in shaping the man we knew as Freddie Mercury but was actually born Farouk Bussara in what was then the Sultanate of Zanzibar, which I thought was a fictional place until very recently. Anyway, the choice to adopt a cat instead of a dog can seem strange, even foreign to a lot of people, and so those who make that choice often get labeled with certain stereotypes, and they maybe don't really... Never mind, I thought that was never mind. Cat people get labeled with stereotypes. Maybe they're lazy because it takes more work to have a dog, or maybe they're standoffish because cats are standoffish and that's different from the way dogs are. Freddie Mercury was certainly no stranger to these stereotypes, and it even seemed that they were an essential fuel to his fire. All right, criterion two, cool about cats or no? Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the cats in this movie don't really do anything extraordinary, but they also don't do anything evil, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, oh, there is this one scene in the obligatory Freddy and Queen Hit It Big montage where Freddy gives each of his many cats their own room in his big ol' rockstar mansion. <laughs> the man was truly a saint to our kind. Uh, Saint Freddy, as he shall be henceforth known from now until the end of days. And finally, Criterion 3. Was this a good movie? Eh. Queen's music is undeniably awesome, and Rami Malek was fantastic, but while Mr. Malek got a surprise Oscar out of the deal, Freddie Mercury, fearless trailblazer, and saint to feline kind deserved a better movie. It is now my great honor to welcome a guest reviewer from across the pond at the BBC, that's British Broadcasting Cats, one of the world's foremost experts in film history and a distinguished lecturer at the Ruskin School of Classics at the University of Oxford, Professor Minerva McGonagall. Okay, just be one moment, love. I've got urgent business with this small piece of cloth. You understand? Whoopsie daisy, I've gone and upset myself. Just, just another moment here. Okay, we've got it now. We've got it now. Nope, we haven't got it. We haven't got it. Listen, why don't you come back later, dearie? All right. Otherwise, you'll just be staring at me bum a while. <clears throat> well, that was a train wreck.